Hey, what's up everybody? So I got this thing, this boat right here, Sonic Jet Delta. Piece of shit. <laughs> you hear him? He said a piece of shit. It's pretty cool looking. So I'm sitting here working on it. We've been working on it. Got this thing in pretty rough shape. You can tell. Here's the engine. I'm going to try to lift it out today. Working on it. To get it out has been a real pain in the butt. So it's got a Mercury Sport Jet. It's a Mercury 175 XR2. I'll let you do that on there. Solid. There's the, uh, well, probably can't see it. Want the light on it? Some light? Oh yeah, where's the flashlight? Oh, we got that too. So yeah, there's the sport jet right there. Tell this boat needs some tender love and care. Down here, you can see fuel tanks. Uh, maybe not because the light's not too great. Too bright? Or lighting. What? Lighting guy sucks. Too bright or what? No, where's the handheld? Okay. We'll find that. Got a little wand I just had. Mosquitoes are horrible tonight. No, the other one. Yeah, the yeah that one. That's the good flashlight. This way. Whoop. There we go. So you can see. Fuel tank's a mess. Fortunately, they were actually drained. I'm down here in the engine compartment. Yeah, nightmare place. You don't want to be there. Horrible. Dirty. So removing this engine the manual says oh four bolts or no i'm sorry eight bolts for each side all you got to remove to separate it from the jet pump well whoever has worked on one of these before knows let's see if i can get my zoom going here of course not i'm gonna get a finger nope. in there point it out yeah 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 go ahead sitting on blocks right now so there's those two up front up front yeah so those two come off those are easy there's another two on the other side yeah, super easy just like it and the two in the back are super easy on the other side and you got this one that one really and easy and this is nightmare that mother sucker right there took a month to get it out and to hit these this back portion and struggle to get wrenches on it. Got to get a crescent wrench over it, and we had to finagle uh, sockets. He got to get some. He had to get some special sockets. He had to buy, yep. and even then we had some trouble. Had to use a screwdriver and a hole in the socket, yeah. and go back and forth, all kinds of stuff. So let me. Uh, where are they at? Oh, the sockets are over there. I was gonna get the sockets and show them. I'll grab them. I'm scared. All right. So as far as sockets go, and then that special one too that I got. Yeah. So I went, everything you got, you got all kinds of shit. Yeah, just that, and then the other one. So I went to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight's great for disposable tools you can ruin. So they're 15 millimeters, and as you can see here, because I partially stripped it, uh, trying to remove it with a uh, crescent wrench. So. Since it was partially stripped and not totally destroyed, I decided to go with these guys right here. Um, spline easy. sockets, 12 point, they do 12 point, 6 point, all that good stuff. They're meant for strip sockets, correct? Yep. So, with the sockets this size, about an inch, that's about an inch right there. Too big, wouldn't fit. Can't get it in there at all. Not enough clearance. So, I took it to my buddy's machine shop using oh. a grinding wheel. Oh, that's the one we modified? Are you modified? Yeah. yeah. Ground this sucker way down to try to use. Unfortunately, they're 3 8 drive. My 3 8 driver is fat and wouldn't fit. So I was pretty much screwed with that. 
So we got that other little black bit. What you do with that? Yeah, it's up here. So looking for alternatives. No, I'm saying the little piece you put oh, in there. Oh, you know yeah, saying? no, that's over there in the plastic oh, container. Boy, you can, go get it. Yeah, you, yeah, grab uh, it. If you can articulate to them, we that one. So I actually had some coupling joints. Read some shit. And I figured I could take this little piece out of the articulating joint that fit in here. I used a piece of plastic to hold it in place and then used a uh, 3 8 uh, crescent wrench to try to turn it. Couldn't get enough leverage, unfortunately. So, instead, today, I ordered these things from Amazon. These are... Astro, I think they're called nano sockets. So the 15 here, as you can tell it's nice and short, but the advantage to that is it uses a 17 millimeter crescent wrench or wrench that you could slip on here or you can use a 3H drive. 3H yeah. drive was out of the question. In our case, we had to use a screwdriver sticking in the little hole that it has. After we ah, after we broke it loose yeah. using the 17 mil socket, or, you could only turn it, or the 17 mil uh, crescent wrench, you could only turn it a fraction. By the time you got there, you had to take the wrench off, and yeah. you couldn't turn it no more because you're hitting those walls yeah. in there. We were only able to turn like a quarter of a turn each time. Yep. So, pulled it off. Rotated a little bit, put it back on, turned a little bit, did that for a little while till it got a little bit loose. Then we lined it up with this hole right here so we could actually take a screwdriver. Oh. We don't have one. We're basically, just sticking a screwdriver in the side and then turning it maybe a quarter turn, maybe if that, half close, maybe. Yeah, no, I'd call it a quarter. You're about that position. Yeah, I doubt this is the got exact about that. one, but just an example of a small one. So basically, we took a little precision screwdriver, stuck it in there, and turned. Was careful not to bend my screwdriver. <laughs> and then every time, pull it off, turn, pull it off, reseat it, line everything up, turn it. A painstaking process. And of course, oh, got to use some little PB blaster to soak it overnight yeah, to get it loosened up. Flick it all up. So again, that's the most pain in the butt so far. Hopefully we'll have another video with some tips after this one. But right now, it's gonna be the fun part. Oh yeah. We'll be hoisting this sucker out. You're finding them there. So I got a two ton engine hoist here. I'm over here my best and shit. You look perfect. <laughs> I belong Two ton engine hoist. Got this thing set all the way down as far as it will go. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I'll let you do the honors. All right, it's all hooked up to my knowledge. Yeah, well, let's, yeah. I'm gonna give the camera over to Bobby. Bobby's gonna handle it. Oh, as you can see, it looks like it might have a starter issue too. See, my starter looks like it's still engaged. You got a new one, right? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be. Did, did you tell him you got a new one? Yeah, I got a new starter. But uh, I had to replace the solenoid and the starter. Oh, all my electronics and stuff is hanging. But You had to cut the freaking, what you call it? Yeah, harness. the wiring harness. Where's the other end of it? Oh, 